Hey, hey, what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Tylord, and I am back again with Let's Play World of Warcraft Project Ascension. This is episode 28, and we are here at Agalwatha. I'm going to be starting off this episode doing the quest Skull Rock Cleanup. We need to kill or slay 10 green sludges and 10 jade oozes, uh, and they're going to be littered all throughout... Oh my gosh, the map here, you can see if I if I bring up the overall world map, you can see... What am I doing here? Casting from the lake, that's what I'm doing. Uh, there's three separate spots, all near Agalwatha and maybe like the Altar of Zul, where the you can find green sludges and jade oozes. So I'm going to be here for a while killing these mobs. Um, you're welcome to join me. <laughs> you're welcome to watch me kill these mobs for a little while. I don't know why I said that, but I'm going to be here... Uh, I can I can just chit chat on screen for a little bit before I end up uh, you know eventually just cutting away and, and, and finishing off most of these mobs off screen just because I think it wastes too much screen time. I know I, I I talk about this not that often. Where are you going, Ooze? You're you're coming all the way over here. This pathing is great, by the way. Oh no, he's coming all the way around. He's going all the way around, and my pet's gonna run down there and aggro all of these oozes and sledges. What are you doing there, pet? I do not know. Oof. But uh, I know I mentioned this, but I just like to, I guess, reiterate. When I when I have quests like this, like this quest, I have to kill 20 mobs overall. You know, 10, ooze, 10 oozes, 10 sludges, or I can just combine them and say 20 ooges, like I was going to um, before I kind of cut myself off, before I made a fool of myself. What's going on here? I can't loot this mob. It's not, did, did I disconnect? I don't think so. Why can't I loot him? Something fishy is going on here. What the? What? Okay, there it is. That was very bizarre. Um, but when I do have quests where I have to kill like X amount of mobs and X is a very high number, like 20 or 30, uh, I'll only kill a handful on screen. You know, I'll chit chat a little bit here and there, but I, I feel like it's kind of time wasting, or it wastes a lot of time on screen anyway uh, to kill these mobs kill all these mobs and it's like my commentary is not you know top tier now off screen I should mention um, I did have let's see four ability essences I actually just spent two of them right before I started recording um, and I haven't you know I haven't gone ahead and equipped that I feel like I'm missing some spells here in my <laughs> on my action bars but I don't think that's the case just these are kind of mixed up right there uh, so I picked up hammer of wrath now I haven't used it yet, um, but you know I went for Hammer of Wrath because it's almost it, it's like execute the warrior ability execute where it's like when a target is reached 20% uh, health or lower, um, this becomes available. So it's sort of like a kill shot. You know, there's the hunter ability kill shot, there's the warrior ability execute. It's very similar to that, only this is a paladin ability, and I believe it's counted. It, it it's class. It's a spell. That's why I went ahead and picked it up. Um, it hurls a hammer that strikes an enemy for 393 to 429 holy damage. Now I believe this is a, considered a spell. It's not a melee ability. It has a 30 yard range. Uh, and so it has, you know, my crit chance uh, of holy spells being 26%. So it does have a 26% chance to crit. And here we are going through a little bit of a lag spike. I don't know what's going on. If it's a server or if it's on my end, but I don't think it's on my end because my my Wi-Fi is generally pretty good. Uh, so I, I went for Hammer of Wrath, just like another spell to finish off an enemy. Um, I, I, or, I know I already have a couple spells here, Arcane Missiles and Frost Shock, that I really don't use all that often uh, in my rotation. You know, mostly just fire spells. But, you know, maybe Hammer of Wrath will become um, pretty good for me to use. You know, once targets reach below 20% health, and it's like an execute ability, so that's why I picked it up. Uh, so I think I'm going to cut away now. I'll finish killing the rest of these mobs off screen. Uh, and then I will actually, I won't stray too far from Ag Agawatha. I do need to turn in find 00x 09 slash HL. Which, you know, I still never looked up what the HL stands for in the periodic table. So if any of you know, just off the top of your head, I don't really want to look it up. I know it's not helium. You might want to say, oh, that's helium, HL, right? No, because helium is HE, and I remember that, because it's a noble gas. But, anyways, I'm going to cut away, and this is where we're headed. 
we're headed to the distress beacon which is just like it's it's literally I could probably jump up here I'll run right over here and and I'll show you guys where the distress beacon is we can probably see it from here it's right there we're going right there be right back all right boys and girls we are back here I finished up uh, skull rock cleanup but first not before a little server disconnect oh no it was out for about I don't know five or ten minutes and it was pretty annoying but we are back online we have found a homing robot called oox dash 9 slash hl and I don't know what the hl stands for because it's not any element on the periodic table of elements last time it was uh, slash fe which is iron technically but I, I think this time around they just picked some random <laughs> some random letters so doesn't have any correlation with the periodic table all right, you appear to have uncovered the wreckage of a robotic chicken. The voice from within the egg crackles to life again. Um, so we already heard all that, so we need to help escort oox 9 hl to safety and then report to Oglethorpe Obnoticus in Booty Bay, which I did uh, last time I, I did that off screen. So you guys didn't see that? Oh my, nice pathing you got there. <laughs> oh, chicken. Uh, so I'm assuming uh, this chicken's gonna come under some heavy fire from mobs. I don't know if it's gonna be from sludges, but last time it was from the Yeti that were in the area. And uh, I don't know where he's running to, but uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, the game is gonna spawn in some mobs for us to try and take on uh, like it did last time, like I mentioned with the Yetis. Uh, so it looks like he's running straight into the heart of Agawatha, unless he's just trying to get to... I don't know. I don't know what this dumb robot's doing, but he's aggroing every mob in like a 10 mile radius. Are you kidding me? Uh, I think he's probably going to try and get to the main road here, along here somewhere, uh, before he decides to use his, his robot jets, his jetpack legs, or whatever the fuck this thing has, to get back to... I think it's flying back to Booty Bay. And it's just going to, like, jetpack out of here. But we have to be careful, because I'm pretty sure at some point some mobs are going to definitely spawn in here. I'm waiting for it. It could be the owlkin. The owl beasts that surround this entire area. Oh, so there it is. So it says escort ox 9 slash hl to safety. And it's just up ahead in the middle of the road here. But uh, there's some savage owl beasts, some primitive owl beasts in the area. Definitely some silver mane howlers, so we have to be be on the lookout. Bolo, be on lookout for any threat to my homeboy, the homing robot. But it doesn't look like anyone's going to spawn in right here because we've reached the robot's destination. Robot house! Except this time it's just the homing robot. Okay, fly away now. Anytime you're ready. Oh no, we've passed the point of... We've passed the point of saying, where, where were we supposed to be going here? Hello, robot? Hello? Are you analyzing threat right now? Activating your combat plan? Beta? I don't know. I'm confused. Where, 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 where are you taking me? We're so far away from... <laughs> from where we should have already completed this quest, I think. I don't know. I've never done this quest in Hinterlands before. I've done this quest in... Feralis and... Tanaris, but never in the hinterlands. So I'm actually curious to see. Oh no, here they come! Marauding owl beasts. I knew it. I thought, oh, they wouldn't. They wouldn't summon in mobs. I've already, I've already taken down all those, all those oozes, right? We're gonna hop out of Lucan form just so I can spam Holy Nova, like I've done previously. And uh, these mobs aren't anything to worry about, if I'm being completely honest. Um, these mobs are a bit of a pushover here. Uh, we take them out with ease, even though they all are, what, 46? They're all 46, so 3 level 46. Marauding Owl Beasts. And now I think, uh, oh my god. Silvermane Stalker. So this is a mob that was not spawned in by the game, even though it kind of looks like it might have been. But uh, Silvermane Stalkers are uh, in constant stealth until they attack you, just like this. So these aren't mobs I don't think the game is spawning in. These are just mobs that are patrolling a little too close to the road here, uh, and obviously they are aggroing us. 
but now that's over with, hopefully. No more no more mobs. Maybe this one last savage owl beast will is gonna aggro us, but hopefully not. I'll be prepared if he does. Alright, is this where is this where you go home now? This giant rock in the middle of the road, the fork in the road? Apparently not. We are we're gonna go all the way. Do we have to go all the way to the edge of the water? <laughs> uh oh. I don't know. Man, I'm this is this is um, taking much longer than I thought it was going to. Whew. That's okay. Is it though? Is it okay? Here's another Silvermane Stalker. This quest is becoming more and more unbearably annoying. <laughs> the longer we go on and this robot doesn't want to fucking go home. Go home, robot! Don't you want to go home? Just fly away. Come on. These rewards aren't any good anyway. And the experience isn't all that great. So why? So what? What's the big idea here? Who's that? Oh, Vine Branch, Witch Doctor. <gasps> oh, hello, Mr. Elite Warrior. Why are these? Why are these mobs elite? Why are these mobs elite? We have to. We have to take on some elite mobs. I feel like this quest should have been over by now, right? Who's attacking us? The Silvermane Stalker. Oh my goodness. All right, time to polymorph. It's like, hello? Oh, oh, oh! Never mind. He's branching off the road here. We don't have to take on... <gasps> we don't have to take on these elites. Although, that dude's polymorphed. And he's gonna stay polymorphed for all I care. We're getting the heck out of there. Let's go! We have to lead him to the water. I knew it. I absolutely knew it. Wow, we... This quest... Sensors detect spatial anomaly. Danger imminent. Oh, vine branch ambushers. There's three more mobs. Why is this one? Why is this escort quest so much longer than the other two? It doesn't make any sense. I don't believe it. Like the one in Feralis, we went two feet. In this one, it's like we're going like a mo Oh no! What? Help! Excuse me, sir. Could you please piss off? I'm just trying to kill you. I don't. What, what's the big idea here? Why are you trying to? I'm not trying to do nothing except kill you. And I will do so gladly and easily. Fuck you, Mr. Elite Warrior. You, you think you're all that? You think you're all that? You ain't shit. You are not shit. All right. I must loot these mobs before. Oh no! They all disappeared. Curse you, homing robot! I curse you with my with my dying breath and, and, until the day I die. This is the most ridiculous quest. If only I knew. If, I, if only I knew. Look, uh, I'm gonna show you guys once we're done here. I think I think we're getting near the end here. Raven Tusk Village, I believe, is a horde quest outpost. Is this it? Are we finally done? Is this nightmare coming to an end? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. The quest of leading this goddamn fucking robot to the edge of the water. I don't think we're done yet. We have to go all the way. We're going all the way down there to the coast, aren't we? So it could fly away to Booty Bay. Even though Booty Bay is in the opposite. We're going in the opposite direction, you dumb robot. <laughs> oh, man. All right, no more whining. No more complaining. We will get this quest done. What did that elite warrior drop? Anything good? This Valorous Greaves? Plus four Agi, Stam, Spirit. No, not very good at all. Uh, now down here are some Saltwater Snapjaws, but uh, they are all neutral mobs, so they will not aggro us immediately. Uh, however, Knowing this game is going to spawn in three more mobs to attack us before we finish this quest. At some point. I, that's, I'm just guessing here. That's just my my best guess. Uh, so we had to lead it all the way down to the water here. I kind of expected this would happen, but never in my wildest dreams. There it is. Flight systems online. Cluck! Engaging rockets for transport. Well, it doesn't even show... He disappeared. He despawned before the rockets. That was the whole... That's the, that's the whole point of doing that quest is so you can see the fucking chicken rockets engage and he fucking shoots off into outer space. Up my asshole. 
But no, he did not shoot up at my asshole this time. He just fucking despawned. Anyway, look at where we started. We were at Anglewatha, all the way on this tiny little island. And little did I know, I'd have to lead this fucking robotic bird bitch to the overlooked cliffs. But it doesn't matter because guess what? He led us. I've been jebated. The game jebated me. I've been led down here to Gamerita. Uh, which we need to complete for the quest, uh, the Super Snapper FX that we picked up in Tanaris. So we need a snapshot of Gamerita, and we just got it, boys. Boys and girls, we have the snapshot of Gamerita, and uh, instantly it aggroes the mob, so we're going to have to take her out. We're going to have to kill her. A uh, level 48 elite turtle. Uh, not a unique character model or skin or anything like that. These are actually, this is actually different. It's a different... It's a different model than the turtles here, the tortoises here, and the overlook and the overlook cliffs. But it's the exact same skin as Crash from. Is that that mob's name? Crash from the Wailing Caverns. Let me see here. Or is it Crush? No, it is Crash. It's the exact same mob as Crash. Uh, it's the same mob as the turtles in Hillsbrad Foothills. So it's not a unique turtle skin. Uh, however, I guess you could say it's unique to these other mobs in the area. But that is Gamerita, level 48 elite mob. Uh, that we, I, I guess technically we don't need to kill her. The objective of this quest is just to get a snapshot of Gamerita. So we have the snapshot here. We use the Super Snapper FX, the camera, and we've got the snapshot. She looks so photogenic. Oh, look, it's an actual image. Wow, this is a, this is a fun quest I never knew existed because I've never done it on... On an alliance character before. Wow, crazy. Uh, so that's that. We've done it. We done did it. We got the snapshot and everything. This is an abandoned troll village by the looks of it. Uh, any Anything else interesting over here to make note of? No, nope, just a shitload more turtles. And a giant... Oh my god, what is this? A giant troll skull? How big was that mob? Man, that's crazy. Uh, there's a whole other zone over here that I have no idea what's going on over there, but uh, I'm in the mood to explore, so let's go exploring. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop water walking, and we can head on out on our mount. There's a waterfall there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's a little island just right off the off the coast there. Big old tree, big old pine tree. Is that a pine? No, what is that? I don't know. I don't know my trees too well. Uh, anything over here? It doesn't look like it. I feel like I'm just wasting a lot of time trying to run up over here. Oh, you know what? This this zone... I don't think we're going to discover what this zone is because by the looks of it, you have to be up, up on top of the land here. And we're not up there. We're down here. We're way down. We're way down here. Water walking just faded away because I took some damage. So I am wasting time. Isn't that great? Is this Archie's Hold? Uh, I think this is part of the Death Knight starting zone, which technically isn't in-game, but it also technically is because even though this server is uh, emulating, you know, Vanilla WoW, it's running on a Wrath of the Lich King server, 3.5, 3.3.5a, or whatever the hell the exact patch is. So technically, uh, Archie's Hold or the Ebon Hold, whatever it's whatever it's called, the Death Knight starting zone, is here. Uh, it could just possibly not be coded into the game, but uh, yeah, that was a big waste of time. I thought maybe I'd discovered a, a brand new a brand new land that had, had yet been undiscovered, but no, just a big old waste of time. So I'm going to cut away. Uh, I actually have to head back north to the Altar of Zul for the quest, the Altar of Zul. We need to search the Altar of Zul for... We're still looking for... That Griffin sharp beak, I'm pretty sure, is what that quest is concerning. So, let's go search it, and I will be right back. Alrighty, everybody, we are here at the Altar of Zul. I went ahead and took care of some of, some of these Vine Branch Soothsayers uh, off screen. But we are here to search the Altar, and actually, you can see here, so there's three uh, normal, not elite mobs up here, but then there's also two more elite mobs, and they're both level 50. Morta. Gya, the Keeper, and Kaiga, Kiaga, the Keeper. Now, I don't know if we have to actually kill these mobs, but if we do, I mean, 
Challenge, challenge accepted, right? I'm gonna go ahead and try the uh, line of sighting them. I'm gonna try polymorphing one of them. Uh, and we're gonna take out the non-elite mob here, so this, the, the Vine Branch Soothsayer, before anything else. Um, I don't know if my pet's actually attacking them, but it's possible she is. Uh, Mortagia the Keeper is gonna spam Shadow Bolt. I'm gonna go for a quick heal before I die, because these Shadow Bolts are hitting me like a truck. And uh, now I think we can take down these two elite mobs. I don't know if my pet's actually doing anything. Um, or if he's just standing there, I don't know, doing nothing. It's possible she's doing nothing. So, uh, I want to be sure to keep Polymorph up on Kyaga. Uh, so there it goes, just breaks right now. I'm going to Polymorph her again. And I'm going to have to definitely heal up again. Man, let me tell you, Mortagia has 8,000 health. Now that's, that's quite a bit of health. Uh, in case you guys aren't f familiar and my I don't think my immolates actually even sticking on her Bam, but there's more Tagya. just took her out. I'm gonna go ahead and innervate also So I can get my uh, mana back and heal up once more before we take down Kigya Kiaga Kiwaga the keeper now. Let's go ahead and loot I'm actually gonna loot these bodies before they despawn because that happens sometimes and I get uh, I wouldn't say I get frustrated with myself but I do like to make sure that that uh, I loot the bodies because elites always have a higher chance of dropping good um, loot and I'm gonna go ahead and use a uh, health potion because Kiaga as a player some Mortag uh, Mortagia alternates between physical attacks and then casting shadow bolt and Mortagia just spammed Shadow Bolt, so I didn't have to worry about uh, physical attacks doing 100 plus damage each swing. Um, but I think that's going to be it for Kiaga. Let's go ahead and loot both of these. And we actually, am, I'm going to loot this Sacred Mallet even though I don't know what it's used for. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these large slimy bones for it. And uh, they both dropped Wild Vine, but they also both dropped a bunch of garbage so we are at the top of the altar here and I guess we're searching the altar for what I don't know but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and aggro both of these soothsayers and they're gonna evade bug both of us isn't that nice uh, so let's just run over here and take them out one at a time ah she's gonna get the heal off isn't she no she's not actually who are you healing your friends dead lol How dare you lightning bolt me. Pet! Pet help! Do some damage. Oh, I already have a couple stacks of troll sweats. Uh, so what do we have here? Flask of Mojo. I don't need that. Um, let's go ahead and loot this chest and see what we get. Pretty nice shield and gold thorn and some garbage. So, I mean, I'll definitely pick it up. I don't... Whatever. I don't need the gold thorn, though. Uh, so, what, we, what is a sacred mallet used for? Used at the Jintha Allure Altar to create the Mallet of Zulfarak. Interesting. So this all seems like it's part of a quest chain here. But I'm at the top of the altar, and... Oh, wow, okay. So at some point, I guess I did complete this quest. Check the top of the altar of Zul, then return to Griffin Master Talonax. So we searched the altar. Uh, we took out two level 50 elite mobs. In the process, I don't think we had to kill them for the quest to complete the quest, or else it would probably say, you know, uh, the altar of Zul would have been marked as a group quest if we did indeed have to kill some elite mobs, um, two of them being three levels higher than us. But we did it, and you know what? I gotta say, the unsung hero of that fight, Polymorph, for sure, without a doubt. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and water walking real quick so I can get across this lake. Uh, as I'm talking, but for sure Polymorph, because without Polymorph, I wouldn't have been able to keep, obviously, Kiaga the Keeper under uh, under CC, under crowd control, and uh, we would have just been pummeled to death by two level 50 elites. But instead, I was able to Polymorph, I was able to do one at a time, and uh, because of that, we easily completed that quest. So, I'm going to cut away now. I will meet you guys back in Airy Peak, where we can turn in uh, the quest we have to turn in here, and then at some point off screen, 
Uh, probably next episode I'll turn in the Super Snapper and uh, Rescue 00x-09 slash HL. Alrighty, everybody, back here in uh, Wild Hammer Keep here. Let's go ahead and talk to Fragar Thundermantle, turn in this quest Skulk Rock Cleanup. Is it supposed to be Skulk Rock or Skull Rock? I pronounced it Skull Rock earlier, but I guess it's Skulk Rock. That doesn't make any sense to me. Shouldn't it be Skull Rock? Skull Rock Cleanup? Uh, appar apparently, it's Skull Rock. Um, obviously, you know, I've never been here before. Questing here is an alliance, so pardon my. <laughs> Pardon my mispronunciation of Skulk. I always thought I thought it was Skull Rock cleanup, but I guess technically we were never in any area called Skull Rock, so I guess it is Skull Rock cleanup. Now we have one more quest to turn it up here at the top uh, of Airy Peak in the Aviary. If you want to call it an Aviary, it's where the Griffins are. Oh, there's False Sound Wild Hammer. I was saying last episode he's not in game, but uh, there he is. Bam! I was just proven wrong. Uh, but uh, I definitely, I own up to that, you know, if I'm ever wrong, you know, I'll say my bad, I was wrong, and uh, own up to it. So this is, I guess, where the, the Griffin Aviary is what you want to call it. And we have the quest, the Altar of Zul, to turn into Griffin Master Talonax. You know, I never noticed until now, this dude has the sickest shades I've seen in-game. Look at these things. He looks fucking radical like a dude from the 80s, right? Crazy. So we have a follow-up, Thaddeus Grimshade. Take this feather to Thaddeus Grimshade the Diviner. He left Airy Peak years ago to pursue a darker knowledge, but in his heart, he is still a wild hammer. And perhaps his talents can help us find Sharpie. Oh my god, in the Blasted Lands? What? It's sending us to the Blasted Lands? That's crazy. That's so far away from here. That's all the way down. <laughs> That's down here! The Blasted Lands? Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Gracious me, oh my, what a lucky guy. Okay, let's do it. Let's go down there. Um, I'm going to cut away real quick. Where can I fly to? I need to fly to... I don't know where I need to fly to. Where can I fly to? South Shore? No. Minithil Harbor? Wherever, <laughs> wherever it takes me to Booty Bay the quickest. Um... Because we're on the other side of the world here. Yeah, let's go to Minithal Harbor. I'm going to cut away. Um, I actually need to head to... Gosh. Gadgetzan. Tanaris. To turn in this quest to Super Snapper. I think this is going to be the last quest I turn in this episode. But I'm going to cut away. I'll meet you guys uh, back in... I forgot. No. Then take it to... Darren Lightwind and Rutheran Village. Okay. So we're going to Rutheran Village then. Be right back, boys. Alrighty, everybody, we are here at Rutheran Village. Um, you know what? I could be mispronouncing this, the, the name of this village, the entirety of the time I've been playing World of Warcraft. I always say Rutheran. Is it Rutheran? Rutheran, like, or like Root Theron. Like the root of the tree, of the world tree. Tell the spell. If anyone knows how you pronounce that, let me know in a comment because I honestly have no idea. But this is Darren Lightwind. The lady we have to take the snapshot of Gamerita to and the Super Snapper FX itself. So you have finally returned, Tyler. And you brought that contraption that Krugel built for me. Perfect. Well, Krugel's invention lived up to its expectation. Don't get too excited, but I but do know that I am pleased with your work, Tyler. Now, where did I leave that book? And with that ding dong, motherfuckers, we've hit level 48. Soulfire is now available for us in the Demonology Warlock or Destruction Warlock tree, excuse me. Um, and then there is a follow-up, Return to Troyus. Here it is, Tyler. Please, take care of my book. Now hurry along. I'm sure Troyus is eager for your return. Deliver the book to Troyus Moonbreeze. What? 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 I don't quite remember. Did we ever have a quest that we needed a book? from Darren Lightwind. The whole point, was the whole point of getting the snapshot of Gamerita to Darren Lightwind just a, a follow-up for us to get her book for Alice a History and return it to some quest giver in Feather Moon Stronghold? I'm honestly curious because I don't remember ever doing a quest uh, that that required us to come all the way to Rutheran Village or Root Root Theron? Root Theron? Root Theron? Root Theron? I don't know how you pronounce this. Somebody help me. Alright, so 48. Boys and girls, stat allocation time. One in Stam, three in Int, 
four in int? No, one in stam, one in spirit, three in intellect, and then now I have three ability essences and one talent essence. I don't quite know what I'm going to be doing with those, uh, but I'll figure something out off screen, I believe, and the next time you guys see me, I'll let y'all know what I decided to do with all these ability and talent essences. But that is going to do it for this episode. Boys and girls, thank you very much for watching. We are 48 now. That means we don't have to go back to the Hinterlands. Um, I know I have one quest to go to the Blasted Lands and then go back to the Hinterlands. I could finish off that quest chain at some point. But 48, I mean, I could, help, I could head, head back to Felwood because at 48, I'm pretty sure, is the is the minimum uh, level requirement for a lot of those quests to open up for us at the Emerald Sanctuary. I believe it's called right down here in uh, the southern Fellwood. But I don't know. I'll figure out what I'm going to do off screen. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. And as always, until next time, I hope you all stay classy and peace out.